Hello everyone, welcome back to Master Tool Repair. Today we're going to talk about uh, replacing the unloader line or bleeder line on your pressure switch. Um, we'll get a lot of calls from our customers and they'll pretty much say, hey listen, I'm getting a lot of air out of my unloader or bleeder off the pressure switch. Uh, I think it's bad or the pressure switch is bad. Well, come to find out really that it's your check valve that's probably bad. Um, this is a guy that goes right into your tank goes this portion here goes into your uh, runs into your hose that runs to that line and when this goes bad it causes back pressure on that guy so it's usually this guy if not then it's going to be this guy uh, this one here is a typical uh, unloader uh, you simply it's a twist lock uh, you take it off by turning it uh, uh, clockwise and then pull it down and you get the new one and you just put it in and you turn it and it'll go all the way to the end until it stops. Uh, some will have a screw. Uh, this one here is a little bit different. It's a side unloader. It's got the two screws in it, multi-position. Uh, same thing though, you're going to take them out. Uh, if you can, take them out. Replace them. Uh, if you cannot remove them, then the whole switch will have to be replaced. Uh, but what you're going to do is you're going to look for the check valve probably to go bad first. Uh, this is caused by, um, you know, just over time, uh, the spring fails in it or water builds up in the tank uh, because the tank's not drained. Uh, this is usually the culprit. But if not, you can always buy one of these guys. Uh, just go ahead and put it in your uh, pressure switch and you're off and running. Uh, if you have any other questions, um, you know, feel free to take a look at our site or give our salespeople a call and they'll be uh, happy to help you. Thanks again for watching.